Senator Elisha Abel, who recently broke the internet when a video of him brutally assaulting a sex toy shop attendant surfaced the internet, has been accused by his ex-wife's younger sister, Eunice Tochuku Ojuku, for killing his ex-wife, Yukaria Ojuku Cheche Ishiaku. Eunice made this known when she gave a report at the Ikeja office of the Sun newspaper. She said, I am the immediate junior sister of Yukaria Uche Ishiaku, who was married to the man you all know now as Senator Elisha Abel. His real name is Clifford Ishiaku. That's the name we knew him as till we saw the story on social media that he is now a senator. According to Eunice, Yukaria met Clifford, now Senator Elisha, sometime before 2009 and he converted from Islam to Christianity before they got married on September 26, 2009 at a Catholic church in Mubi, Adamawa. Months after her marriage, she became ill and was treating the sickness as a regular ailment because she didn't know she had HIV. I got to know about her illness in 2012. On her sick bed, she told me everything that happened, especially how she got to know that she was infected with HIV. She told me her husband was already infected but held that information from her while they were dating. Unknown to her, he was going for treatment and was still sleeping with her without protection. It was destroying her system gradually and that made her sick. She found out about the illness when someone who had observed how frequent she was getting ill told her to go for a general test. The person also paid for the test. This was how she found out she was infected with HIV and that it was at a critical stage. When she confronted him with her results, instead of confessing, Senator Abba battered my sister mercilessly. The sister claimed that the family got to know about the battering and tried to rescue their daughter from the toxic marriage. We knew that he was raping our sister. He even tried to bring his friend so that both of them would sleep with my sister at the same time. She took a lot of stitches as a result of anal sex forced on her. The day she finally left in 2012, Senator Abel followed her to the car park and created a scene. He wanted to drag her back, but my father pleaded with the driver to ensure that my sister bought the bus back to our village in Anabra. When she spoke about her sister, she said, She was a calm person who did not want to lose her marriage, so she kept this information to herself. There were several fights, and when my sister calls me, I will plead with her to leave that man, but she will refuse. She believed so much in marriage until she was very sick. There was an instance where he battered her so much in their house and dragged her out of the house naked. Any time that he was beating her up, neighbors tried to intervene and he threatened them with a gun. When they were in Abuja, he would dump her in the hospital for days and no one would be there to give her food till the hospital alerted us and we would send someone to her. We were in and out of the hospital for six months before she died in 2013. When my sister died, he called that he was going to deal with me that I was the one that killed my sister. Eunice told how her sister met him, that they met and started dating during her NYSC days in Nasarawa 2008. She said, he had worked for so many known politicians in the north. He visited their orientation camp and they met and became friends. When our sister came up with the story of marriage, my family kicked against it. My family was against the marriage because they were not in support of intertribal marriage. We did not know much about the northerner and their culture. When she died and I posted it on my Facebook wall, her friends doubted it because Senator Abbott did not say anything about it on his Facebook wall. When asked why she was coming out with the story now, she said, I want justice for my sister. In 2013, when my sister died, I posted it on Facebook and no one took it seriously. He was a nobody and I was the daughter of a nobody. Then, social media was not as strong as it is now. All I want is justice. Let no one be deceived by those tears. He is an evil man. In a video that surfaced on social media, the senator apologized to Nigerians over the issue of physically assaulting a person. Uni stated, We are used to that his crocodile tears. Whenever he comes begging, Nigerians should not be deceived.